Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep contemplative questions and provide far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is artist, producer, and composer Steve Wimet. Steve, how you doing? Doing good. How you doing, Daniel? Uh, fantastic. Thank you. All right. You know the drill, 30 seconds on the clock and on to the next question. Are you ready? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> question number one, describe your job to a five-year-old. Um, I make music so the kids can dance like you. Um, and sometimes I make sounds that uh, sound familiar to you, but weren't done by the original artist. Um, and then I also write all the music for the, for the shows that you watch on TV and uh, the commercials that you want to skip past because you don't like to watch commercials anymore. Um, what else do I do? <laughs> I think a lot. <laughs> Oh, next question. What's the strangest thing you believed as a small child? Oh, uh, the strangest thing. Does believing in Santa count? Not really. Okay. Um, Everyone believed in Santa. Uh, <laughs> what's the strange? Um, that Sanford and Son was actually a real story. Wow. Yeah. That is kind of sad now that I think of that El Segundo was actually a, you know, well, actually El Segundo is a real place. So oh. there are people who really like El Segundo. <laughs> Back then it wasn't so much. Yeah. Next question. You've been captured via telephoto lens for a national geographic special. What is the narrator saying about you and your native habitat? That if you look closely enough from here, you can see that he has a growing bald spot that uh, seems to happen um, a little bit more as he gets older. And it's uh, hopefully that one day won't be the case, but uh, we'll see about that. Uh, in his native habitat, he also um, uh, tends to do a lot of skinny dipping in his uh, pool. Yeah. Naked and male pattern baldness. Now yeah. there's a picture. Yeah. Next question. What's the first record or concert that made you want to get into the music business? Kiss Alive. Uh, followed up with the um, the first show I ever got to go to, which was Kiss the Dynasty Tour. I wanted to go to the Love Gun show, but my folks said, you aren't going to anything called Love Gun. And it just so happened that they were playing the Cow Palace that night. And it was the night that Elvis Presley had died. And so I had two reasons, Love Gun, Elvis Presley, you're not going to see that. But that was the entire reason why I got into music. Uh, yeah. Wow. And then Van Halen. Oh. Next question. We've all done odd things when overtired, jet lagged, or otherwise under the influence of absent mindedness. What's the strangest or most embarrassing thing you've ever done on autopilot? I remember that I don't remember it very well, but I was, uh, I was taking Ambien at one point and, and my wife came in to the room and saw me writing an email on my iPad and fortunately intercepted it because when I looked at what she had pulled away later that day, it made absolutely no sense whatsoever. There was uh, there was just a bunch of gibberish. I, I don't even know what was going on, but the synapses of my brain were not firing appropriately. Nice. Yeah. All right, that concludes our regularly scheduled questions. I'm now going to put 30 seconds more on the clock and allow you to either pontificate on something you like, shamelessly plug something, ask me a question, do whatever you like with it. It's 30 seconds. It's all yours. Okay, Daniel, so you worked at Cherokee. I need to know what was – did you have um, did you have echo chambers at Cherokee? I can't remember. No, we did not. We had EMT we had plate. plates. We had okay. plates, yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you have a 250 or just the 140s? You know, the digital yeah, EMT? Yeah, Oh, that's... I honestly can't recall that. Oh. What was your favorite piece of gear? The Trident Day range. Yeah, I can understand that. Okay. Unquestionably. Yeah. I, I, right. I mean, I had cut my teeth on a few other consoles before that, but... That was just such a pleasure to use. It was horrible to maintain. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, there was a regularly a regular schedule of just recapping every single module. <laughs> just round robining. <laughs> Do we only have thirty seconds for that, or is well, we're we're done. That oh, was it. Okay. That was that was the question that 
that failed that I failed to put the timer on because I'm just not paying attention. Well, on it was because it was just starting to get fun and it, it was, was over. Yes. <laughs> Steve Womet, thanks for being our guest. Thank you. Mm-hmm.